All right. I'm saying welcome back. I'm saying hello. Art, you just sit there and you can say hello to Bill Jordan when after I introduce him. Hi, folks. We're here with Bill Jordan. Okay. Your turn, Art. I'm taping now. You want me to say something? I should say something to Bill. Now okay. it's your turn. Now it's my, my turn. Okay. My turn. Hi, Bill. Hi, guys. What do you want to talk about smooth, today? Smooth as silk. Just this. What do you want to talk about today? As we're, silk. We're giving we're we're turn it over to you. Well, actually, on a serious, uh, serious note, you guys not long ago did a thing about as we get older, of course, we're going to be, you know, witnessing the passage of friends and family members and yes, celebrating yeah. their lives and things. And this has just happened to me. I, I normally note like celebrity deaths seem to happen in threes. That's what we've always heard. Yeah. But I lost two high school classmates and one guy that I was in radio with. Uh, but like within a two week span of each other. And it was just like, boom, boom, boom. And you, you know, your mind goes back to remembering the, the last time you saw them. And of course you didn't know it was going to be the last time you saw them. Right. And that's a lot of things. But um, when I think of them and others, friends that I have lost, um, you know, and you go to the services or celebrations of life. And I think they should, I, I like that, that it's a celebration of life that many times it's called that now, not funeral or memorial service or something. Um, then you, don't you guys, when you go there, don't you kind of look around and go, gee, will anybody show up for mine? And how will I be remembered? Am I living my best life? Am I, I be, I'm trying to be very cognizant of <clears throat> being an example, uh, to my family and you know grandkids and my daughter my wife trying to trying to to do that uh i have a coin that reminds me and it's memento mori which means basically remember that you will die you could leave here in the next moment um and it's not as a downer sometimes i talk to people like this and they think i'm trying to be a downer and it's it's not i mean that is that's the that's the final curtain, right? So we all are going to face that. But what kind of life are we living in the meantime? And you know, you should always go to these the funerals and the celebrations of life because, as Yogi Berra said, you should always go to a funeral. Otherwise, they won't come to yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a wise man. I, I yeah, that. yeah. Well, I, so I, I mean, Bill, it, you Bill, have Bill. to re you end up reflecting on your life. It, it 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 you know I think it serves that purpose to reflect on your life and what kind of life are you living. Yeah, there are, but uh, we we took a different uh, take on it in that um, uh, we both lost uh, all, all three of us lost friends, and uh, although we're sad in the moment, and I've had some. Uh, one of the losses was a cousin, uh, uh, Don, who I played backgammon with uh, uh, every week, literally for the last twenty years. So I mean, we were really close, and you know, we like two old guys sitting around playing checkers at the Cracker Barrel, you know, in the uh, days of yore. Right. Uh, so right. I mean, it was that kind of uh, friendship, but uh, we, uh, our take on it was to celebrate the, the the good times and the positive influences they've had. But I have I don't have a coin. Uh, I'm not a coin guy, uh, but as uh, John knows and, and some others know that I have a 25 year rolling plan. So I I plan on being here for quite some time. In fact, I've asked, even though it's a a ways off. I've asked my sister to plan my 100th birthday party. And uh, I do check in with her every couple of months uh, on that alone. And she's making progress. Um, but she says, what's the hurry? I, I just want to make sure that everything is set. Uh, the so, advantage, uh, Art, the advantage of a rolling plan yes. is that it's always 25 years out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Well, when you get she's to be literally. you will still have 25 years. Absolutely. Um, I'm working on it. Well, Smart. I think Bill makes the best point, and that is, Smart. yes, we celebrate the lives, but it's not about the person who's passed. It's really about the living. That's why we have memorial services, right? Right, right. right. And, and it's about an opportunity to take a look at how we live. You know, how did we treat the person who's passed? And how should we, what should we, woulda, shoulda, coulda is my attitude. And, and how we, how we can change ourselves for the better. Right. 
And the fact that we're celebrating, and the fact that we're celebrating the life. And the other thing I would say, because I I know some people, and there are some times, maybe you guys are like this too. There are times like with my dad, the remembering my dad, he passed a week and a day before the (laughs) 9/11 attacks. There are some days that, I mean, I just miss him, crushingly miss him. But I also know that he would be like, you know, live your life, live your best life. Don't worry about me. I'm, you know, I'm yeah. fine, whatever, you know, they don't want, they don't want us to be in mourning, but for so long, you know, but what an, what an, what an honor to have lived a life that people do want to come and celebrate your life. I hope in mine that there are a few people there and maybe have a few laughs about, Hey, remember that time he did that stupid thing or that other time he did that stupid thing or that stupid thing. So, yeah. you know, I, I hope it does bring some smiles and some, some laughter and, um, <clears throat> just hope I have a well-lived life. Well, we're not looking forward to it, but one thing we would appreciate because, you know, now that we're all at least semi-retired and living on more limited income, although Oprah, you can change that by uh, buying Celebrating Act Two and uh, uh, giving us jobs <laughs> as a showrunner. But uh, yeah. short of that, <clears throat> if you have some warning you could give us, because we're looking, Southwest is not that reliable. We, we need some time to buy some flights back east. Because uh, we definitely want to be there, okay? But oh, don't do it well, too yeah. soon. But if, you know, if okay. you could say a date certain, like uh, 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 14 or 18 or 20 years from now, so we can book the flights, we'd appreciate that. And anything under 25 years for art. We'll yeah, know. right, and, right, right. Gotcha. Right. And, and we can update that every year, but for right yeah, now, if you could keep it within 25 years. My goal is to make it to 90, but my goal is to make it to 90. I get a vote in some of that, but not in other parts of that. So I just try to... Uh, you know, take care of myself and the parts that I can control about that. I try to yeah. control that part. But well, in, the meantime, Bill, in the meantime, in the meantime, what can we do? Memento Mori is the Latin for remember death. Yeah. And and I think, you know, the whole point of that is, as you started in the beginning, is is really not about the death. It's in between now and then. It's mm. Art's 25 years. It's not after his 25 years. What are you, what are you going to be doing to, to be the best you can be for the next 25 years? You know, there's a poem called The Dash. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I have posted it several times on Facebook, and I, I can't remember it. I wish I could. But it was about the dash on, like, the headstone. It's like the, the date of the birth and the date yeah. of the passing, but there's a dash between it. And that's what it's all about is what are you doing in that dash, how yeah. what are you making the most of that dash? Yeah, that's the goal. That's the that's the best we can do. Yeah, and mm-hmm. as I, Bill, as I look at my uh, embrace the boom mug, yeah, it, it makes me think that that's what embrace the boom is all about. Really, it your, absolutely your, is your movement for boomers is applicable to everybody. You know, no absolutely. matter what generation you're in. Absolutely, so, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom wherever you are in life. Yeah. Dur- well, but during your dash, not after. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.